Why, my brothers? Because of La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. This was the strength of Islam. See, my brothers, after one of the battles, Sahaba, you know, now this may sound nice and pretty. You need to understand, Sahaba were like us. They made mistakes. There was hiccups. But they were men who were very quick to patch it up and fix it up. After one of the battles, there was a lot of booty of war. So Sahaba got together and now they're having what? Mashura amongst one another. How are we going to distribute this? So each companion speaks his mind. And Abu Dhar, who was an Arab, a very staunch Arab, he gave his opinion. And then Bilal radiallahu ta'ala anhu, who, was a, who used to be a black slave. When it got to Bilal, Bilal says, Abu Dhar, look, I don't really agree with your opinion. I think this is what we should do. I think this is what we should do. So Abu Dhar became so angry. He says, even you, even you, you son of a black woman, even you're going to disagree with me. Big words, big words. So Bilal got so cut, he picks himself up and he rushes to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Let's pause here for a second. Let's speak the language of the boys now, yeah? As far as we're concerned on the street, what did Bilal do, bro? Going to Rasulullah to tell him what happened, according to our language, what did he do? He snitched, which is an itchay ogay amongst the boys, isn't it? See, my brothers, they didn't have the disease in the hearts that we have. Today, so that I don't snitch, I'll hate on the brother for the next 25 years, no problems. But these men were so pure in their hearts. He rushes to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He says to my Prophet of Allah, this is what Abu Dhar said to me. And Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he storms out of the house. He rushes to Abu Dhar and he grabs Abu Dhar with fury in his eyes. And he says, Abu Dhar, you are a man who still has jahili in his heart. You are a man who still has ignorance in his heart. Abu Dhar buckles. Buckles. How do you think he dealt with it? I think he grabbed a few of his boys to go chase down Bilal. Really? Look, look. Listen, bro. All jokes aside. Don't we talk about Sahaba? Don't we claim that we love them? Don't we say that they're our idols? Let's see how they deal with it. So Abu Dhar rushes into the streets of Medina looking for Bilal. And he finds Bilal in the streets of Medina. And he rushes to Bilal and he falls on the floor and he puts his head on the ground and says, Bilal, I will not buy Allah. I will not lift my head off the floor until you step on it with your foot. And let it be known to the people of Medina, who of us is the dishonored and who of us is the honored one? What do you think Bilal did? Come here, you little... No, 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 no. Then and there, it was finished, done, sealed, over. He gets down on the floor. He kisses Abu Dhar. He says, man, I forgive you for the sake of Allah, brother. Done, finished, dusted. Where's this love gone, bro? Where's this mahabba gone? My brothers, all we have is each other, man. All we have is each other. Instead of loving on my brother, you know what I didn't get? It used to be back in the days, like I understand the street wars, us and them and my area and your area and these boys and that boy. The poison has become, so, now it's actually even in Deen. Now it's in Deen. Now it's this Sheikh and his crew and that Sheikh and this crew and this center and that center and this masjid and that masjid. Allahu Akbar, what's going on? What's going on? What sunnah are you following? What sunnah is this? My brothers, we are brothers. We are brothers. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa he says that this ummah is one body. He says sallallahu alayhi wa this ummah, look, look at the analogy he's giving sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He says this ummah is one body. If one part of the body hurts, who feels it? He says the whole body feels it. That brother who's a junkie selling crack and coke on the streets. Yeah, we can sit here and badmouth him all day. But he's my brother. And he's a part of this body. And when he hurts, I hurt. That sister who doesn't have her hijab on with three, four boyfriends and yeah, we can all sit here and badmouth her and run our mouth. Yeah, yeah, look at this and look at that. And because she's from this part of this country and because she's from here and she's from there and her parents are this and her parents, we can do this all day long. But she's my sister and she's a part of this body. And when she hurts, I hurt. This is Islam. And this is how Sahaba dealt with one another. He says the Ummah is like one body. When a part of that body hurts, the whole body stays up the night in fever and in pain. Look at the analogy. I want to ask you something, right? If I harm this pinky here, whatever, man, I fall on the floor, I break it, I cut it off, whatever, bro. This pinky here. What logic, what justice is there that because of this finger, right? This arm is deprived of sleep tonight. 
You know why? Because that finger is on this hand, and this hand is on this arm. This arm is attached to this body, and those other parts are also attached to the one body. This is what Rasulullah is saying.